In this video, we will be going over the theory behind the math examples. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. In order to explain square roots, I'm going to look at multiplying two numbers together. 3 times 3 is 9, and we say 3 squared equals 9. If we started with 9 and we said what two numbers multiplied together give us 9, we would use this sign, put a 9 underneath it, and it's saying what is the square root of 9? What is the second root of 9? And the answer would be 3, because 3 times 3 equals 9. So let's look at this symbol for a minute. It kind of looks like long division, but it has a little hook on it, and it has a number on it, and then the number that you're trying to take the root of. So this symbol is called the radical sign or radical symbol. The number inside is called the root. In this case we have the second root. The second root is also called the square root. Just like we say 3 squared or 3 to the power of 2, we say root 2 or square root. If we had the radical sign with a 3, we would call it the cubed root. Just like we say 3 cubed, we would say cubed root. Any higher power, like 4th root, 5th root, we would just say the number. So let's go back to the square root of 9 equals 3, because there's something else you need to know. Negative 3 times negative 3 equals positive 9. Therefore, negative 3 squared equals positive 9. It's correct to say the square root of positive 9 equals negative 3. We just said that the square root of 9 equals positive 3. Well, it turns out there are two answers because a negative times a negative gives us a positive and a positive times a positive gives us a positive. So how we write square root is like this. The square root of 9 equals plus or minus 3. This is two answers. It's plus 3, like this one, and it's minus 3, like this one. But we combine the two, and we just put a plus or minus sign in front of it, and it means two answers, plus 3 and minus 3. Now we can also, with square roots, drop the 2. If you see a radical sign with no root number, it's implied to be a 2. Any other root number will have a number there for the root. Square root of 9 is plus or minus 3, and it's two answers. How do we find the square root of 100? Well, 10 times 10 equals 100. 10 squared equals 100. Therefore, the square root of 100 is 10. But remember, negative 10 times negative 10 is positive 100. Negative 10 squared is positive 100. Therefore, the square root of 100 is minus 10. So it's positive 10 and it's minus 10. The square root of 100 equals plus or minus 10, and that's how we write it. Let's find the square root of 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 squared is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. But remember, minus 4 times minus 4 is also positive 16. We could say minus 4 squared is 16. We would be correct in saying the square root of 16 is minus 4. So the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. 